Okay, so connecting to an SNMP version 3 host in Zabbix. Now this is my setup, that's my Zabbix server there, and host A is an SNMP version 2 host, and I've already set this up, and that's working, and that's good. So I'm going to convert host A to be an SNMP version 3 device instead, and I'll configure that in Zabbix. Now SNMP3 adds a whole lot of extra ways that you can configure Zabbix and your SNMP devices, so there's a good chance that this video isn't going to be the answer to every single SNMP version 3 question that you'll ever have but I'm going to show you the steps that I do and hopefully you can apply them to your own environment. Right now host A is an Ubuntu server configured with the SNMP D service on it. So configuration hosts host A SNMP, that's the internal IP address of my host A. It's on the same network as my Zabbix server. SNMP version 2. And I've configured a custom community called My Community. Now to show you the SNMPD configuration on host A. Okay, so I've SSH onto my host A. Nano etc SNMP pd.conf. I have made some changes from the default. Okay, so agent address, UDP 161, that allows my Zabbix server to query the SNMPD across the network. I've created two views called system only, and they are the root OIDs that they will return. By default, it's configured as those, but that returns less data, so I've changed it to that. That allows the template that has been assigned here, Linux SNMP, to be able to access a lot more information from that daemon. Anyway, so that's my view there called system only, and they are the root OIDs that this daemon will return. Okay. The other one is my read-only community is called my community, and its view is system only, which is just this one here. Okay, so that is my SNMP version 2 configuration, and that works. So monitoring hosts, host A graphs. And if I look at that the last seven days, there's quite a lot of useful information in there that I can use. So that works. Anyway, so configuration hosts, I'm now going to convert that to use SNMP version 3. Okay, so we have some extra options. Context name, security name, and security level. Before my Zabbix server can query SNMP version 3 on my daemon on host A, I need to create an SNMP version 3 user on that host. Now, if your SNMP device was a printer or a network storage device or anything else that supports SNMP, the user interface of that will probably have an option to create an SNMP version 3 user. But anyway, I'm going to do this using SNMPD on Ubuntu. Going back to my SNMP D configuration here. I scroll down just a little bit further, there's a section on SNMP version 3. It doesn't use communities. So this section here about the read-only community is not applicable to SNMP version 3. It's only applicable to SNMP version 2. So going further down, it says we need to create a user. Now I'm going to use a special command at the moment to create that user. And it's going to be pretty much the same as what it says here. It's going to be called auth preview user. That's the username. I'm going to be using SHA-512 authentication. And that will be the password, my auth phrase. And AES encryption. And that's the key, my priv phase. Okay. So it says put that command into here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use a command from the command line. Then at the end, we set up in the daemon here a read-only user called authpriv user. That's the same username that we will create in the moment. Using the authpriv option, which means authentication and privacy. Priv also means encryption. That's the AES encryption. And the view is system only. Now, the system only view is created just up here. There we go, system only. That's my system only view there with those root OIDs, that and that. So let's exit this and create this SNMP version 3 user called Auth Priv User. Control X. Excellent. I need to use a tool called Net SNMP Config. It's unlikely to be on your server. Okay, so it's not there. So we can install it by running this command here apt install that. Enter. Okay, it's there now. Now I'm going to run that command again, but with parameters. That is net SNMP config. I'm going to create an SNMP version 3 user. It's going to be a read-only user. It's going to use SHA-512 authentication. That's the password, my auth phrase. It's going to use AES encryption, and that's the key, my priv phrase. You can change my priv phrase and my auth phrase to something more complicated. And that's the username, auth priv user. That's the read-only user that the SNMP daemon will be expecting, as shown in the very last line of the SNMP D configuration that we just opened and closed. Okay, so enter that. Okay, at least one SNMP daemon is already running. I must stop it first. SNMPD stop. Let's try that again. 
create user. Okay, added the following line. So create user auth priv user SHA 512 my auth phrase AES my priv phrase to that file var lib snmp snmp.conf. That's a different file. We can actually view that. And it says added the following line to use the share snmp snmp.conf as well. Read on a user auth priv user. But we already had that in our snmpd conf. But anyway, let's view this particular configuration file. So nano var lib conf. And if I scroll down right to the end, there's a create user line there, auth preview user SHA 512. Okay, so let's exit that and let's restart the SNMPD. sudo service SNMPD start because it was just stopped. Just double check the status. Very good, active running. Let's just look again at this file because there has been a change made to it. var lib SNMP, SNMPD conf. I scroll down. There's a new line here, USM user, auth priv user. And that last line that said create user has been removed. Anyway, just so that you know, control X. Now, clear. We can test the SNMP version 3 user using SNMP get. So SNMP get version 3 user, auth priv user, using the auth priv option, authentication, SHA 512, and that's my passphrase there, my auth phrase, AS encryption or privacy, and that's the password, my priv phrase. I'm calling the local host 127.0.0.1 and requesting this specific OID, which should return the system name. Enter, and it does. It returns the string, Linux host, etc. Okay, so the SNMP version 3 query worked locally. I'm now going to try that across the network. So I'm on my Zabbix server, and I'm going to try that same command. But instead of calling local host, I'm going to call the IP address of my host A, which is 10.133.0.3. That's the IP address from the perspective of my Zabbix server. Enter, and it worked across the network. Okay, excellent. Now, I'm going to set that up in Zabbix. Okay, so in my host configuration for my host A. I've updated that to be SNMP version 3. I now have some different parameters to fill in. Context name, I'm going to leave blank, but security name, I'm going to use my username, which was authpriv user. Now it was using the authpriv option there, which means we do get some extra things to put in. The authentication protocol was SHA-512 and the phrase, my auth phrase. Privacy protocol or the encryption was AES, but I didn't set the bits. Its default is AES-128 and that was my priv phase. Okay, so I can update that to update. Okay, host A, items. Okay, it may take some time to update, but I'm going to execute some of these now such as system name there and uptime they are both snmp agent type items so let's execute now okay monitoring latest data I'm going to filter by my host a apply let's go down and have a look for something page two uptime 29 seconds ago let's have a look at that graph so it looks like I'm getting the data through. Let's look at hosts, host day graphs. Okay, last five minutes. And it looks like I'm still getting data. So that transition from SNMP version 2 to version 3 seemed to be pretty uneventful inside Zabbix. But let's look at the configuration hosts. And we can see host A still showing SNMP green. Anyways, looking at that again, host A. If I look at the settings, SNMP version 3. Security name, that's the username. I'm using the auth priv option. You have other options there. You might not want to use AES encryption or any SHA authentication or MD5, etc. There's quite a few options there. I use that one. So I get those options to fill in. You do have a lot of options there in either. So anyway, that is an example of setting up an SNMP version 3 host in Zabbix. Your system is going to be a lot different than mine, but I've just shown you how mine works and all the things that I needed to consider. Excellent.